How is everybody doing? For anybody uh, who is just watching Lonnie and I, I want to thank you for joining us in our uh, net neutrality chat. Uh, this is going to be a lot more lighthearted, not so serious. Uh, I'm just going to go through some stuff I sold. Um, right above me is a picture of an ornament that my wife, uh, Whitney, did. Um, oh, shoot. I'm getting some kind of picture in picture here. Let me click off this. So there is an ornament contest uh, at Darcy's Daycare. And Whitney made this hippopotamus ornament. Uh, she spent a lot of time on it. And um, there's a photo contest to win a free week of daycare. Um, so that's going on right now. Uh, I'm going to put a link to that in the chat. If you guys could click that link and like that photo, that would be a huge, huge help. Um, oh, shoot. It's saying it's too many characters. Well, that's not good. Anyways, the link to that photo is in the description of this video. Uh, for some reason, it's not letting me put it in the chat. I guess it's too many characters. But the link is in the description of this video. Please go like it. It would be a huge help. Uh, Whitney's been watching the like count on the ornaments uh, feverishly. And uh, I think we're behind. So she's having a little bit of a panic attack. So please help her win the contest. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to say hi to a few people in the chat here. Um, Michelle is here. How you doing? Barry the Five Day Flipper. Maggie Doodle is here. Maggie, um, I saw you in the uh, chat of the last video we were doing, so thank you for hanging out with us. All right, guys. I have been selling a whole bunch of stuff. I haven't done one of these videos in quite a while. I've just been so busy with the media and everything else that I just haven't been able to give you guys an updated video on what's been selling. Uh, I'm going to show a few things I've sold on my <clears throat> auction website. Uh, this Gorham Sterling, Sterling Silver Art Tray, this was actually found in the pallets of media I bought. So we found a handful of boxes that just had like silverware and uh, different small stuff, and this was in there. And um, a guy that works with me, actually dug it out and he's like yeah you should list this and it'll do good and he was right it did really really well rolling pickers here what's going on bud all right this is a Hanna Barbera Hong Kong Fui lunchbox uh, I got this out of a Goodwill bin believe it or not at the Goodwill auction uh, just with a bunch of other stuff that I bought um, it's worth more than 14 but the guy that probably bought it is more than likely going to flip it, so a little bit of meat left on the bone for him. I thought this old scale was just really, really cool. had the original case. Um, I think it had all the, the weight pieces except for maybe one. Game Rigs is here. Speed Truck Collectibles. Thank you for joining me, guys. All right, we sold this green Coleman cooler. I think Alani has sold a handful of these recently, so I had to show this one. It's pretty clean, too, for being a vintage one. It seems like the market for these is just getting better and better. Legos, we've been getting in a ton of Legos lately, and they're bringing really good prices. Of course, this is just the best time of year for them. Everybody's getting them as gifts. Uh, but yeah, this set for like $54. I was pretty shocked. Um, I, I mean, I don't know what the full value of the specific one was, but yeah, I've been really pleased with some of the Lego prices. Anybody who was um, saw that I tried the live stream last night, I apologize. I was trying to do it to do this show last night, and we were having some serious Wi-Fi problems. My show was like kicking off Whitney from the internet. Nobody could get on the internet, and the whole thing's like nothing was working. It just like crashed on us. So I just had to stop the whole thing. So sorry, guys, if you were if you were wanting to watch that last night. 
So this Zippo lighter, um, kind of a funny story. I got a phone call, I think it was two or three days ago. A guy went to the local antique mall and he had two Zippo lighters that he was just trying to sell. I guess he thought, you know, somebody at the antique mall might be up for buying. Uh, Big Boy Hustle says, is the volume low for anyone else? Let me look and see if I can increase that at all. See if that's any better. I'll get a little closer to it. Let me know if the volume's low for anybody else. I don't know if I can change the settings or not. Um, so the antique mall didn't want to buy his lighters, you know, because antique malls usually don't just buy stuff outright. Uh, but they, well, the guy working at the antique mall knew me, so he passed them on to me, and the guy calls me. He's like, yeah, I got some Zippo lighters uh, if you're interested. So he brings me this copper lighter and a Harley Davidson lighter. And he says, um, he says, yeah, I just want 20 bucks for him. I said, that's fine. So I listed this one, sold it right away for 50 and the other one I've listed for about 35 so I should get around 30 35 bucks for that one too. So super quick flip on that. Okay, KM Riggs is saying the volume is low for her too. So um, let's see. Don't know hmm, if I can fix this. Increase it or what I can do. Tell you what, I will my little headset in here and see if that helps. Can you guys hear me? Check, check. Can you hear me? I've been having all kinds of issues. We were having issues, uh, before we started our show, Lonnie and I, he couldn't hear me. KM Rig says you came through loud and clear in the last video. I think it's because I was using uh, this headset and I took it off because I didn't, you know, I pretty much only uh, use this if I'm on with somebody else. Just that way there's no echo going on. Much better. Okay, good deal. Yeah, I guess I just need to use this all the time. The internal microphone on my laptop is probably not that great. So, yeah, I was super happy about this. Uh, I actually listed it for $50 or best offer. And within a few minutes of listing it, somebody sent me an offer of $35. And I didn't respond right away. And then a couple minutes after that, somebody just bought it outright for 50 bucks. So, pretty happy about that one. All right, uh, excuse me for the terrible photo, guys. This is a really bad photo. <laughs> I was, I've was i been listing a lot of this stuff at home. I'll bring home a, uh, I'll bring home a whole box of media uh, and just list it all at home because it's small. And that's, you know, pretty much the only time I have to do it's late at night or early in the morning. So, because at the warehouse, I got to do all my regular business stuff. Uh, but yeah, this Anthony Robbins set, Sold for 50 bucks. It's 12 CDs. Um, and pretty much all kinds of Anthony Robbins stuff just brings really good money. So if you guys have not, uh, if you've not been looking for Anthony Robbins stuff, make sure you check it out. I think it's pretty re readily available. I've seen uh, Lonnie say that he sold some of that stuff. Cam Riggs asking, do you have music CDs too? Um, yeah. I got, in that media lot, I got probably 60,000, 70,000 music CDs. I haven't listed too many of them uh, on eBay, just because, you know, most of them just aren't really worth much. I'm just kind of selling them in lots. All right, this Dwayne Bent Twyford. Uh, that's her name, uh, real estate wholesaling millionaire mindset collection. This thing was sealed. Um, there really weren't any comps on this, but it seemed like that, uh, real estate millionaire, you know, collection was doing pretty good. I guess there was a guy by the name of Twyfer too, probably her husband. And they do all these different 
all these different uh, sets. What I've noticed uh, in this media stuff is that a lot of the niche market stuff or like the educational or, you know, financial seem to have a pretty good market. Uh, but the run-of-the-mill stuff, uh, just the common music or movies, um, you know, they're just a dime a dozen. Lonnie says, can you put feet in the photo next time? <laughs> yeah, man, that's a terrible photo. Absolutely terrible. It was hard because, you know, they just spread out so wide. Cameron says, the, those are the ones I'm interested in. We'll DM you about a lot. Yeah, please do. I got tons and tons of CDs. Cam Rig says, Lonnie, I'm struggling with my photos. I can see what a difference they make when selling. Yeah, they really do. If you guys want um, a good education on photos, go check out Andy the Parrothead Picker. That guy takes the best photos. Sold this Zelda Ocarina of Time uh, for GameCube with the bonus disc. I got 21 free shipping on this. That's the nice thing with a lot of this media. I pretty much have done free shipping on everything. Um, and it's always cheap. It's almost always under three bucks, and a lot of it I can send media mail. So that makes it even cheaper. Resale Killer is asking, could you buy 10,000 CDs from him, Kathleen? Kathleen can buy as many as she wants. Thousands and thousands of them. So there's a few uh, Super Nintendo games in this media. Not a whole lot, but there was a handful. Uh, and this itchy and scratchy game was in there in pretty good condition, too. Uh, this one sold for 27 free shipping. Pokemon Stadium. Uh, and this was the gold variant. I don't. I think the there's a just a standard one that's like a gray, and then there's this gold uh, color version of it. Uh, so yeah, in, in this slide, I mean, there's most of the video games are like the CD style, you know, like PlayStation, Xbox, but there were a handful of cartridge games. Uh, Speed Chopper saying I ship my CDs first class. At 261 and uh, media mail is 263. Yeah, I, it's the same for me too. I do the media mail when uh, stuff weighs over, you know, so many ounces, whether it's like eight or nine ounces or whatever that cutoff is, uh, where I know it's going to be cheaper to send it media mail. Like those Robins, anything Robin CDs, like those things weighed two or three pounds. So I definitely went media mail with those. I found these uh, teaching homeschool uh, discs. There was 22 all together. Uh, they came in this nice case. Got 35 free ship on those. And uh, sent those media mail too. So that was nice and cheap. Oh, okay. Barry the Five Day Flipper is educating me on the Pokemon thing. I was mistaken. He says the gray is one. The gold is version two. So there you go. This Ghost in the Shell game uh, turned out to be pretty rare. It's a PlayStation 1 game. It was in pretty good condition, too. Didn't have very many scratches at all. Got 36 bucks free ship on that one. Game Rig says, I would have thought those would have gone for more. Lots of people are homeschooling these days. Yeah, big market for homeschool. Lonnie is saying the same thing. Homeschool stuff is a bolo. Yeah, Lonnie in some of his videos um, has been finding, I think it's called Life of Fred books that are different like homeschooling books. So yeah, big market for that stuff. So keep an eye out for it. I've been finding a ton of like workout and fitness DVDs uh, and all this media. This is a Chaline or Chaline Extreme, probably mispronouncing it. Uh, it's by Beachbody, and it turns out they Beachbody makes a ton of stuff. I didn't even realize it. 
So obviously they do the P90X, but they do a million other things too, like hip hop abs and um, T25 Extreme, like all kinds of different fitness workouts. Uh, this one was complete and brought $20 free shipping. And I, I did medium out with this because it had some weight to it. Speed Trap Collectibles saying uh, they picked up a Prince CD recently. Sells between $75 and $100. Holy cow. Is it a single or like an import? Like what's rare about it? Mr. Sadie is here. What's going on, man? Resale Killer says, keep an eye out for Diamond Dallas Page Yoga. The WWF wrestler. They're expensive. Interesting. Yeah, I've had some, I've sold some wrestling stuff out of this lot too. And it seems to have a pretty good market. Okay, Nathan Eddings is saying pronounced Charlene. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Uh, sold this Harvest Moon PS1 game uh, for 18 bucks, free shipping. It's amazing the difference, you know, when these things come with the booklet and the original case and everything. I mean, it sometimes it, it's been doubling the value, I've noticed, uh, when I'm kind of pricing comps. Garage Flips is saying, John, you need to crack all your boxes open and look for prints. Yeah, I probably should. I mean, there's a lot of boxes, but. Maggie Doodle is saying, don't forget religious stuff. I just sold a teen educational DVD set for $135. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, some of the religious stuff can bring a lot of money. I've had a lot of uh, audio uh, Bibles I've been selling in this stuff. So, so far, this is the cherry. Uh, this is the best thing we found in uh, the media. This was Adobe Creative Suite 5. It is the teacher and student edition, uh, which turns out isn't as worth as much as just a standard edition. <clears throat> I actually posted it for $350, your best offer, and I wound up taking the best offer of $250 on it. Lonnie says he was joking. Yeah, I can. I'm not always good at reading uh, sarcasm in text. Speed Trap says, The Prince CD is when he was a symbol. It is the album, the gold experience. Wow. I didn't realize it was selling for that much. So, yeah, guys. Be on the look for Adobe. Um... I've actually sold a lot of Adobe stuff. I've probably sold 20 different pieces of Adobe out of this media. Uh, and it, even the old stuff seems to have a really, really good market, you know, 15, 20 bucks. Um, but yeah, this one I think is the last one that they made uh, before you had to like register online or something. I really don't know what the reasoning is, but th that's, there is a reasoning for why this was so much. Uh, Lonnie's asking any issues with this as far as the license goes. Not yet. Knock on wood. Uh, it's been like 10 days now since I sold it. I'm sure they've had it for at least four or five. So knock on wood, there's no issues yet. So Speed Trap is saying the disc is down to 30 to 50 now. I'm assuming he's talking about the Prince disc. Um, and you had said it was 75 to 100. Do you think that value has dropped like the further away we are from his pet, from his death. I guess that can, you know, that stuff affects the pricing. It's amazing how it does. All right. Another thing I found a lot of are these Microsoft flight simulators. Um, this is a really good bolo guys. These things are all over the place. I've seen them at yard sales a lot. Uh, they're pretty common. Even the older ones sell pretty well. Uh, this one is like the gold edition, so it had two, two and one. Uh, that's how I got the fifty bucks for it. This one I did have to ship first class; couldn't ship it media because it's considered a game. 
Mr. Sadie says, I smoked Adobe once. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, another cartridge game. Uh, this Tecmo Super Bowl sold it for 19 free shipping. Again, this one was really clean, in really good condition. Uh, you know, especially for being over 25 years old. Actually, even more than that, I guess this one's 1991, yeah, so 26 years old. It was a really fun game. I remember playing as Bo Jackson in the Tecmo Bowl series, and he was just so much faster than everybody else. Basically, if you played with the Raiders, you couldn't be beat. All right, here's another bolo I wanted to show you guys. So, this brand, The Great Courses, <clears throat> they do uh, a lot of different instructional things over all kinds of different topics. And they all have a really good market. Um, you know, every single one of them that I've found in the in the box in the media boxes seem to be selling pretty well. And I've sold a handful of them already. Mr. Sadie says, wait, that was Adobe. I, yeah, I got it. I just pronounced it Adobe. Adobe, Adobe. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, guys, be on the lookout. The great courses, uh, really good market for this stuff, for sure. All right, this was another nice find. Uh, this real flight simulator. So, this thing actually comes with a... Um, like handheld controller when it was originally sold to like, you know, help you simulate flying an RC plane or an RC helicopter. Uh, and when it has a controller, it sells for like 50, 60 bucks. So I made sure I listed this just as the discs, uh, no controller included, but still got 30 bucks free shipping. Okay, another bolo for you guys. Adventures in Odyssey. So this is a um, religious brand. And they do CDs, DVDs, they do all kinds of things. And I've I found quite a few of them in the pallets. And they all seem to be selling really well. You know, 10, 15, 20 bucks, most of them do. Um, and they can go medium ale. They've got some weight to them. Like this is a thicker case. I think there was like three discs in it this is another great find Jurassic Park uh, Operation Genesis PC game seems like a lot of the PC Jurassic Park sells well I've been finding a bunch of different random Jurassic Park stuff, and it'll go like 10, 15 bucks. But yeah, this one brought 43 uh, free shipping. Some of these I've seen sell as high as like 50, 60 bucks. And if they're, uh, if they're sealed, they can just sell for way, way more. Okay, Nathan's heard of uh, Adventures in Odyssey. He says they are popular. Yeah, it seems to be a pretty good market for them. I've been finding a ton uh, of Microsoft Office from all kinds of different years. So far, I think I found three or four of the 2010 version. And uh, I'm getting right around 30 bucks for these things. Uh, sold those one for 33 free shipping. And the 2007 ones, I'm getting, you know, around 15 bucks for them, something like that. Speed Shop is saying, check all the gangster rap CDs. Stupid money for some. I've listed one for $150. Sold one recently for $40. Wow, that's awesome. So, like, are there specific artists that you're that, that sell better than others? I'm not extremely well-versed on my gangster rap. 
Lonnie says, you have jumped ahead on the ornament. Awesome. That is great news. Guys, thank you for uh, pitching in and helping with this. It means a lot to Whitney. It means a lot to us. She's desperately trying to win this contest. Uh, if you haven't already, the photo above me is uh, the ornament that she made. She spent a lot of time on it. Uh, there's a link in the description of this video. Uh, if you click the link, it'll let you like the photo. Uh, the contest ends at 9 o'clock tonight, and it's for a, f a free week of daycare. Whoa, Speed Trap says there's one that sells for over 1000 bucks. That's crazy. Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye out. So more fitness. Um, I've I've found like four or five of these Supreme 90 Day. It's kind of like a P90X knockoff, basically. It doesn't sell for a lot. Ten dollars free shipping. I think it's in it media mail. And Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. Um, I've been finding a bunch of GameCube games, and they're all bringing pretty decent money especially the Mario's you know the Zelda's everything like that um, I'll give you guys a really quick education on video games so if you never ever deal with video games um, a good rule of thumb is to just look for three different titles Mario Zelda Pokemon um, those three uh, you can pretty much always bank on are going to be worth some good money. So if you pick them up for just a couple bucks, you'll almost never lose out. I think I just heard Whitney pull into the garage. I'll have to give her the good news. Hey. Lonnie says um, that we passed that person just now. It's not legitimate. Oh no. Oh no. What's wrong, sweetie? You want to say hi to everybody? This is Darcy. <laughs> Barry is saying, uh, John, can you update us on how it went on Sunday's swap meet selling? Um, Sunday went good. I, uh, made some really good connections. I'm heading back this weekend to sell some boxes to the guys that I met. Um, yeah, I think, I think there's definitely some good connections. Some guys are wanting to, you know, buy weekly on a weekly basis and take a certain amount in at a time. Let me see here, guys. I got a, I got too many windows open. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Uh, Camerig says, Zelda, Pokemon, Mario, I remember that. Get it, yard sales, and never know what to look for. Yeah, Kathleen, if you see uh, video games, feel free to message me anytime. Uh, just say, like, hey, are these worth anything? You know, what should I look for? I'd be happy to help. Um, I don't know as much as Jory or Barry, uh, but I know a little, and I'm happy to help. <laughs> Darcy's kind of confused. Um, that's all I got, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for helping with everything on the ornament contest. And I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas, and Happy Holidays, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.